Hey yo, what is up Knights? Aegis Rick here and Christmas has come early. For those of you who don't know, KDNF is having their DNF festival where they reveal what's going to be coming for DNF in the coming year. Of course we aren't exactly KDNF so these are updates we aren't going to be getting anytime soon. But it's still exciting to see what we'll be getting eventually. Remember that our client will be a mere few months behind what's in KDNF currently come January. Now I think after the festival is over and all the news is out, I'll be making a comprehensive video covering all of it. But for now I think I'm just going to be focusing on what I've personally been waiting for months on. Information on the Knight's Second Awakening, Gaia. There is one video and one video only right now that showcases some of her skills, and that's what we'll be looking at here. I don't usually make videos like these, but I'm too excited to stop, so let's take a look and speculate, shall we? Just remember that this is merely a preview, and not necessarily what we'll be getting when it finally hits DFOG. Now first and foremost, I see a skill change. Natural Restraint is a skill that you hardly see any EKs using, mostly because it's broken and doesn't work as you'd expect. Its animation is terribly slow for Chain Rush and pushes people around unnecessarily. What we see in the video, however, is clearly different and works a lot more like the F Brawler's Heaven's Neck, with a quick animation and suction right to the EK. This is an enormous asset to EK who very much needs her enemies right in front of her to maintain her Chain Rush, and it's nice to know we'll get the skill as it was probably intended. It's at this time I'll probably mention that this change to Natural Restraint may possibly be exclusive only to Gaia and not the Elven Knight. I say this because about a month ago there were changes to the Elven Knight and KDNF, and this skill was not among them. The only skills affected were animation and utility changes to her 60 and 70 skills, Harbinger of Life and Faithful Breakthrough respectively, but again, that's just my speculation. The next thing I notice is a new Chain Rush bar. Check it, it's all noticeable and colorful. There's a large green portion in the middle with fringes of blue along the sides. I can only assume this will be one of Gaia's passives, which somehow affect her Chain Rush. I can only imply that if you get it directly in the green portion of the bar you get some kind of bonus as compared to just landing in the blue. If I'm not mistaken the success area also seems larger so the blue portion could also be some kind of safety net and it won't advance to the next chain rush unless you land in the green. But again who really knows. The first new move we see is what looks to be a chain rush finisher. EK has the option to use Chain Rush here, but instead the bar disappears and the word finish comes up. She does a blast with her shield similar to what we saw with the nuclear fist on the monk. The initial hit of the skill looks pretty small, maybe the same area of a standing Chain Rush, but that can easily be remedied with the new nature's restraint. It is clear however that the blast afterward does indeed have some range and damage. My guess is it'll do significantly more damage the higher your chain rush is, just as intended with the chain rush system anyway. The reason I say this though is because the EK says something different when performing this skill on a 2 chain and the 3 chain respectively in the video. The next new skill we see looks like a new hold type grab. She does a hit with her shield and then summons a giant vine to the sky. In its wake it leaves behind these vine roots that seem to hold enemies for a short time. It is clear that it's also not an immobilization effect either, so we can assume that it is just a straight up super hold type grab similar to the ground quaker on Azura, because it's grabbing this big ass dude no problem. An aesthetic effect is also left on the ground very similar to the harbinger of life, however it's not clear if if the vegetation on the ground gives the same benefits of Harbinger of Life or if it's just aesthetics, but I guess the latter. Last we see the Gaia Second Awakening and it's another pony attack, did you expect anything else? I will say however that the animation looks awesome and I love how they retain the same properties of the last one. Massive damage and quick animation baby, I love it but I'd love to see one of those fancy animated cut-ins at some point in the future. But anyway guys, that about covers the new skills from what I see on the Elven Knight, or Gaia I should say. I was nervous basically all this year waiting for the news on it because I was convinced that they'd screw it up somehow and make it useless. But I can already tell you it's gonna be a monster when she's released. All the changes are good. More burst damage skills with quick animations, a modified chain rush, a possible new super hold type grab, and another burst awakening. Oh shit, man. I can't wait. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you nights later. No, really, because you're probably going to want to make a night now. <laughs> I know I would.